Here's my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good Put part. that in. Can we put that in, please? <laughs> Can we have that as the intro? <laughs> Start the podcast with that. <laughs> Nancy, do the intro. We're going off that. Quick. Quick, I started Welcome with back a to the Goons Podcast. You just heard Dude's Butthole. <laughs> yes. <laughs> On the Goons Podcast. Uh, Probably his like first that one, fart. Chat? That is a 27 yeah, year old man who just farted for the boys. Yeah, Dude's fart that came was out just there. in your ear holes. Did you take my advice and stop spreading your cheeks open when you fart? Uh huh. Yeah, all I did was uh, just I kind of you. roll up on my side so I that it was facing you. the microphone. The yeah, cheeks have to be touching girth. together for there to be like slappiness. Yeah, it was definitely like a. <laughs> what, what, exactly. what, so. what did you used to pull them apart? Yeah. Why? I would be scared some debris would come out of the <laughs> I, I just like to pretend I'm a cannon, you know. Yeah, you would. You would stand cannon. up and put your leg up on your desk and spread your <laughs> asshole apart and then fart. Right? Isn't that the way you did it? I would, yeah, I would put my left leg up on my desk, my boom arms on the left side of my desk, and I would put my butthole, like, flesh up against the, uh, microphone. Oh my I hope god, one day, that's, that's like, too much. like, Omegle's open, and, like, a, a tab that you forgot is up, and your yeah. camera's on, and somebody just sees you doing that. I hope I that's hope how so. his face gets revealed, he's just fucking <laughs> trying to arc his leg well, up onto the desk to shit his mic. the camera, you can see his face. <laughs> if it is gonna happen, I hope it's that way, too. I wonder yeah, if he tells go you the FBI agent has seen that. <laughs> Doing what I loved. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, there's All a lot right. to talk about Starting this week. Off strong. Who do yeah, we stop with? Is... Or start with? <laughs> stop. Uh, do we start with uh, uh, one of you almost dying? Nasty or McNasty or start do? with McNasty probably, probably Mario McNasty. Kart on the highway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First off, it wasn't a highway. Red man. It, got it, was red a it was a residential <laughs> street. It wasn't a highway. But um, yeah, I almost died. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, do you so want to elaborate on that a little bit? Yeah, we almost right, got a big topic. W there. <laughs> yeah, next topic. <laughs> next topic. <laughs> I get a solid six seconds and then everybody else gets to finish the podcast. Nobody cares anymore. All right, what happened? <laughs> so basically, what happened is. New truck. <laughs> Are you still brain damaged your, from your it? What's brand going new on? Dodge still buffering TRX. from the accident. <laughs> Your brand yeah. new Dodge TRX. I bought a brand new Dodge TRX 2021 f f cash, 10 grand over MSRP, like a fucking idiot. And in six days, got in a, a serious accident. Well, it was more serious <laughs> oh, for the other that's person. That's the worst. That Dude, fucking awful. sucks. My uh, inner redneck is like broken for you. I was still in the truck. grieving process. <laughs> I took so many pictures of that truck because I've just like every single day, just so much pride. I just loved. Uh, I like. I, I would just take it outside and turn it on, just so I can hear it. Yeah, that's something to be proud of, man. You got you a yeah. nice truck. Yep. You worked for it. Uh huh. And then it's gone. God. Think well, all the now, mud puddles that thing could have been drove through. <laughs> gone too think soon. Of, uh, think of all the grocery store parking lots could have been used in. <laughs> the, yeah, well, the thing is, like, when you think about that truck, it's not necessarily like a regular pickup truck. It's kind of like soup truck, like. The Raptors it's aren't really like, fun. they're not made like, it's not like a full Chevy Silverado, I'm gonna take it down on the fucking field. Like, it's like, the TRX is made for like racing. It's like a, well, it's got a 702 <laughs> horsepower fucking racing, engine. racing, but it's meant to make you go faster than usual truck. It's meant to, yeah, yeah. no, it's yeah. definitely. It's just a, tr a fun truck. It's a, yes, a fun, it is, it's, it's a truck. big toy. That's what essentially what it was, a big toy. Yes, it's a big toy. It makes no yeah. sense. It's useless in almost every aspect. It's not good at off-roading. It's not good you at racing. Even it's just, with it well, really. it's just built, fun. It's just a good time. They're built for off-roading. They're definitely built. They have like the, if you get the upgraded suspension, it's like one of the best suspensions you can get in a truck. They're, they're really built for for like climbing over shit yeah, like Baja yeah. baby exactly yeah. they literally have like modes you can set like within the car within the truck that, but yep. yeah yeah that's how mine is as well yeah that's how and mine Masties still was. is functional yeah yeah mine's, so mine is still I, that way today I was gonna ask you are you like are you getting another one from the insurance company like uh, how, what's, what's the I process I just talked thing? to my insurance company a few and days ago and you. they they have to send a an inspector to go out and look at the truck so I'm still waiting on that to look at the truck. Where the Bro. fuck is it? It's, not a junk, it's not like a like a like a, it's not a towing yard. I tow oh. away. Oh. That is just. I bet everyone that sees that is just like in shedding pain. a tear. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Especially if it's somebody that like knows what that truck is. See, the reason the reason that they are over MSRP is because they're rare as fuck. They're hard to get. So dealerships know that they can overcharge because. 
people like me <laughs> will just that will really want it will pay that to have it you know yep that's it with most of did the did you even try right to like talk them down like any no uh-uh no, no. Okay. That, well. that was actually the cheapest one you could get all the other ones were about 25 grand over msrp that that's one was only fuck. 10 that is yeah. fucked and uh the, i mean i had in the six days i had it it was fun uh it created a lot of uh <laughs> what a sad sentence <laughs> the six it created days a lot I of like one of the best of my life it created a lot of social like a lot of people would pull up next to us and be like oh my god is this new trx and be like yeah and they'd be like oh my buddy's got a camaro you want to race it and like i get his number and shit and yeah, it was, it was like created a lot, like a lot of people knew what it was. And a lot of people like truck guys would talk and like we, it was just, it just created this social thing that I never experienced before that. That's so the many men's, men's numbers. I mean, if the I had went out and bought station. like a 2019, like Range so Rover or something. So many me. That one, <laughs> well, actually, my DMs. It was only one person that happened to, but I just like, yeah, like people would pull up and, you know, it'd be like, yeah. it was just, it was just cool. You know, it was yeah. cool to have a car that wasn't on the road and, you know, people were seeing it for the first time and. Yeah, and uh, so basically, with the wreck, what happened with the wreck is we were just out cruising, and uh, we were at a red light, and we just started pulling off the red light, and it was about one thirty something in the morning, and I don't know if it's where you guys live, but here, the the time that bars close is two two a.m. Yeah, mm-hmm. is it like that where you guys live too? Sounds yeah. about so, right. Well, I know some states are just open twenty four seven, like they don't give a shit, but uh, I think it just depends. Oh, well, yeah, most close but, up to uh, here. So, yeah, between like one and two is like the worst time to be on the road because people are drunk driving, mm-hmm. you know, driving home from the bar. And I, I'm not 100 percent sure the person that hit me was drunk, but they sped through a red light and the light had been red for about a solid six or seven seconds. So they were they clearly had Jesus. some kind of like, you know, distance problem with their mm-hmm. with their with their view or blind. No, the the woman was like twenty two. She was like very young. Well, they can't be blind then. <laughs> Nobody under the age of sixty is blind. That's a well. I don't think guy. blind people are driving the road, anyways. I don't. I, don't know. I think she uh, she might have passed out. I'm not sure. She might have passed out at the wheel and just. But yeah, she went probably. Was she okay? Seventy or, or eighty? I have no idea. She could be dead. She. Uh, I, don't, I feel like Did you I, say her car flipped. Yeah, so she hit our front end, going probably eighty, going probably seventy five or eighty. Hit our front Jesus. end and then and then veered off. So she, if she would have t-boned us, she would have died. She would have died instantly. But she you was lucky to hit our too. front end. Yeah. If well, if she t-boned our front end, we probably wouldn't have died. We would. It would have hit us harder. We probably would have got worse whiplash. But between me and him, we like we didn't have like any injuries. Like I'm fine now. Yeah. All I had was like some shoulder pain from like the seatbelt. <clears throat> yeah, the seatbelt's uh, fucking. Lucky, man. One of the most painful parts, but obviously flying out the windshield is much more painful, but a little bit more painful. Yeah. yeah. Well, the the thing is that truck is, is built like a fucking tank. It took that hit like a champ. Like I'm and surprised you can tell from the picture that they still hit you hard as hell. Cause even though that thing's a tank, they still fucked your car. Yeah. Up. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. You're going fucking 75 and you run into a car from the yeah. side. And they must've been going very it's fast. It's going to take damage. Yeah. So she, she hit the car and then veered off and then just flipped. I don't know how many times she flipped because we were spinning while that happened. So, Jesus. yeah. And then by the time I got out of the truck, I, I remember in the car, like after it first happened, I was just freaked out because that never happened to me before. And like, I remember seeing her car probably like a foot away from the truck. Like I remember seeing it, but I thought that she had hit the door. So by the time I like we spun out and like stopped when I came to, I thought that like, I thought that she had hit the door and I thought I was going to be like really fucked up. I thought like I was going to be like stuck or my legs were going to be messed up or something. So I was just like, yeah. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Uh, like I didn't know what to do. And like my brain just kind of went into survival mode. And for some reason I was trying to cut the seatbelt off, even though I didn't have a knife. Like my brain was telling my arm to cut the seatbelt, even You're though I didn't have a knife in my hand. Nothing? Like my, I wasn't thinking, I wasn't thinking at all. It was like, I was just in like survival instinct mode. Like my brain was not, I couldn't control my, what my brain was telling me to do. I was yeah. Yeah. That's so weird. Yeah, I like thought it was full primitive I thought it, state. Yeah, I thought it was smoke at first because the the airbags went off and there was a bunch yeah. of like dust in the car. It, and I thought no, it was it's, smoke. It's smo- it is smoke. The way an airbag works is literally a mini explosive behind. Like they, oh, it, is it? it is oh. smoke. Yeah, there's just literally like the way airbags work is essentially you have this little like ball bearing almost. At least this is older 
ones. I don't know if they're still like this, but essentially mm-hmm. you have a ball bearing. And if there's a force large enough to knock that ball bearing off its magnet and pass over a little circuit thing, it causes it to blow up. Oh, that's so smart. Yeah, those uh, the airbags in that truck really, really helped. They were yeah. they're literally 360 perimeter. They covered all the windows. Mm-hmm. They like it prevented our heads from like banging against the banging against the truck and stuff. Um, yeah, they kept us pretty pretty solid. That's good. The, yeah, if we had gotten hit, if I had bought something else and that happens, I might not be sitting here right now talking. Yeah. <clears throat> that truck like probably saved our lives. I mean, I don't think we would have died if she would have hit the front end of another car. Um, unless we flipped, that might have been really bad, but that truck yeah, took um Yeah, I mean, that thing definitely. is so heavy. It probably was worse off for her. Like way worse off. I would oh, not yeah, be surprised. No, she had if that like a 2005 like Civic or her Accord or something like that. Like, like she Did you I was going to say, did you like what happened after? Did you get out of your car? Like, did you go see her? Yeah. Like, so like once, once my brain stopped being in like survival mode, I was like, okay, like I tried to take my seatbelt off, but I couldn't get to it because the, the bags had had me so like squished. So yeah. I like opened the door. I was like, I wonder if I can open the door and I opened the door. And I was like, Oh, and that kind of gave me room to like take my seatbelt off. And then I just got out of the truck and I just like, I looked and I was just in awe and I was just like, fuck man. Like, Oh, I'm like, how did, how did this, like, how did this happen? Six fucking days after I just dropped cash on a truck. It just yeah. gets fucking smashed. So I was just for a while. I was just like trying to, I wasn't even thinking about the other person. I was just like, I had <laughs> anger. I, I, it's just like, I couldn't even like, it's not like I didn't care. It's just, my brain was just yeah, trying right. to wrap around the fact <clears throat> that I just lost my fucking brand new truck. The that first I bought. thing I would have done is, is went to check on the other person. Yeah, same. I mean, yeah. No, yeah, first, well, I, I would have, I would have definitely like, truck. I would have, first of all, I would have like, I would have fucking like looked at myself, made sure I was okay and could function and wasn't bleeding or anything. Then I would have immediately like ran over to the other person's vehicle yeah. and like helped them get out. <laughs> Which the is currently I could. upside down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> they were just burning to death. McNasty's like my truck. <laughs> yeah, McNasty's just like crying. At well, when, I, when I finally got out and I got to the sidewalk, there, because her, her car was flipped up on the side, it wasn't flipped on the top. It was like up against something and there were these like four guys trying to push the car over so like i wasn't i knew they were already dealing with that car you're a six foot seven like fucking 300 plus pound man why did you not help (laughs) because it's just gotten in a fucking car rig i don't know dude i never had been in anything like this in my life ever I, yeah, like, I, couldn't, I understand. You I were dead. Yeah, you were in shock. Properly, yeah. I yeah. just didn't know what to do. You're also a piece of shit, but I guess. It's just funny. Yeah. They're probably just like, hey, we could ask that giant ass guy to help. <laughs> what? That giant guy that's sobbing over there. What? We can't ask him. When the guys were pushing the car over, it was it was like four dudes, and they were pushing the car over, and they were like trying to wake the girl up. And it sounded like one guy was like grieving, like he thought she was dead or something. So I, th- I thought that they had been part of that crash and they weren't but then like the fire department showed up and they left so i like i don't know what those four dudes like i don't know if they were friends of hers like following her behind her or something i have no fucking clue they might have been drunk as fuck as well and just like didn't want to get a ticket or anything or go to jail so they probably just dipped like if they did know her Mm -hmm. which is fucked but (laughs) that's what i'm thinking because like i heard the dude like trying to wake her up and he's like Oh my god, no, no, no. Like he was actually grieving. Like I tell it wasn't just like some stranger that was just I like. I hope they Jesus. didn't accidentally just like break her fucking neck when they flipped the car back over. Yeah, uh-huh. that's like, that is one thing. Like if the car was like on its side, I probably wouldn't flip have left it. Just I would have just, just waited, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would have waited until the professionals the got there. But again, if there. these people are inebriated, then they're just like flip the car. Like they don't know what's yeah. going on, right? They're just yeah. they're probably just as drunk if they were like knew her. Or if they are out at that time, they're probably drunk walking home from the bar. So they're probably just like drunk anyway, regardless of they're with her or not. So they probably just didn't think to like not flip over the car that the lady with a potentially broken neck is in. Yeah. God almighty. That's fucked. Yeah, that is. That Driving is, is scary. So not epic. Be a defensive yeah, driver, I, everyone. So Absolutely. I, yeah, I definitely now when I've been out in cars, I, I definitely like check intersections and shit like it's. Well. You can't I've just trust gotten, the light, man. Yeah, I've no, always gotten yeah. the advice of waiting, like, not too long, but when the light goes green, don't just, like, peel off. Like, wait yeah. a second, make sure all the cars that are coming are stopped, and then you can kind of go. Like, I've always done that, just Some, out of habit about, at this point. Something about humans getting behind the wheel of a car, they just lose brain cells. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, people <laughs> definitely don't take driving as seriously as they as should. As they should. No, absolutely. They don't think not. anything could ever happen to them. That's why people I die guess. every fucking day from crashes. And you Dude, hear the- about like the the crash rate in like Europe and stuff, like European countries. It's like incredibly low compared to us. Well, the like, thing they, is. They, they have to go through more extensive like schooling and stuff to be able to get licensed. Not even that. Part of it is our our culture of how we drive cars. Like stuff like you know, no hate to people that drive them, but like American muscle cars, the people that drive those cars, eighty percent of the time drive like absolute fucking douchebags. And they and cause also how wrecks. our roads are set up too. Yeah, our roads I'm sure are over there. They scary. have a lot more like roundabouts. And yeah, shit, yeah, they do, which definitely helps. Yeah, you can't really t bone somebody in. Around it's a lot harder to yeah. T-bone somebody in a round yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, just the, the whole car scene in North America is just a lot more dangerous in general. People just try way too hard to like show off and fucking drive as fast as they can on public roads. It's just everybody's it's in such rough. a fucking hurry. Yeah, it's uh, it's not not ideal. Do you guys uh, do you guys have like a worst fear with driving? Like one thing you you just don't like doing, like driving next to a semi truck or something, just like. Is there one random thing that you just won't do? Or that freaks you out? I don't like driving in between two semi-trucks. Like, if they're next to each other and there's a lane in the middle of them. How the fucking wind comes off of them and how it, like, will fuck with your vehicle. It, like, changes your speed. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like doing that. Now my biggest fear would to be stay off the road between, like, one and two. That's fair. Understandable. Yeah. Yeah. Before that, that really is always sketch. Yeah. Yeah. I live in a small enough town where there's like no really bars or anything, so I don't really worry about it. But like, if I was in like downtown Toronto, yeah, no fucking shot on driving at 2 a.m. I was driving home from a concert one night and like it wasn't, it it was pretty dark, but like there were still like street lights and shit. I'd been to a, a place I'd never been before and like there was a fucking island in the road that you're supposed to like take a, a, like not a sharp turn, but kind of just like, turn right Swerve. like gradually yeah and i did not fucking see it there were no signs no lights and i ended up just driving on top of this island in the road <laughs> what? and like nothing like nothing happened and like nobody was hurt or anything but it scared the living fuck out of me because i just like yeah i just hit it going <laughs> like fucking, fucking 50 and they're, I was just uh, on top of this island in the middle well, of the road. At least you have a like, truck. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, like, yeah. there, there's there's a lot worse vehicles to fucking do that, and then you're after. Ripped your fender off or something. <laughs> yeah, but I was like, what the? F-? There's no like sign or light or anything yeah. here. Like, yeah, that's fucked. Nice. Like, I'm not a retard. I, I would have definitely avoided that if there was some kind of like warning. <laughs> warning. There's a yeah. uh, there's a roundabout somewhat near my house, and when I used to have the Range Rover, I used to go right through the middle of it. <laughs> it was just like it was just basically a curb and then it would go like it had like a bunch of like plants and stuff but over the winter there would be no plants on it so you just go right over the middle of the roundabout <laughs> can't do it anymore but it was so fucking fun I'd be like if I was driving with somebody that doesn't drive with me often I'd be like going normal speed towards it and they're like you know this is a roundabout and they just fucking bounce off it it's so fun did I ever tell you guys a story about the guy that was like chasing after me and my friends one night? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you cra- your friend crashed so. in the ditch, and then his dad yeah, got mad, dude. and you stood there. Yeah, yeah. I think I think actually we got comments last time we told it about how you already told it, so this would have been the third time. That's like my yeah, that's that's my that's my like one dramatic wreck story. So that's the one I always tell. My, uh, need to get him. Need to get him more wrecks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need a lot of this podcast. It. Go go crash your cars, boys. <laughs> I think my biggest driving fear is like on the highway. Um, if you're like driving behind somebody and they just bolt into the other lane because traffic stopped in front of them and you just smash into somebody rear ending them at like full speed. Like have you ever seen those like videos of people driving on the highway and that shit happens? There's like one lane is mm-hmm. fully stopped and you can't see because if it's like a truck in front of you or something. Mm-hmm. And they just oh. swerve randomly, and then you just rear end the stop traffic, like mm-hmm. full speed. So you have no time to react. That shit another, is like my only fear. Another big fear, well, that I had before the wreck was probably like hitting and killing somebody at night, because there is a lot of tweakers where I live. A lot of people roaming the streets at night. At least nobody and, would uh, miss them. <laughs> well, I can imagine <laughs> I bet like that just, happens a lot over there, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't really watch the news uh, just because I don't like. <laughs> 
just watching negativity constantly. <laughs> um, but could, I couldn't imagine they're just driving 60 down like a, like an open street and just boom, like exploding a dude. Cause he just decided to jaywalk. In front well, of him. We have Especially deer here, which is oh, basically yeah. the same thing. Yeah. Driving fast at night and you just have a fucking massive buck prancing yeah. across the road. Then bam. Yep. Do you know anyone that's yeah. hit one soup? <laughs> Fucking everyone I know has hit one. <laughs> That's my so dad, fun. my dad hit a deer when he was younger, and then uh, he he killed it on impact, and then he picked up the corpse, put it in the back of his truck, put a hat on it, some sunglasses, and drove up to the gas station and showed it off to people. <laughs> dude, dad <laughs> sounds like fuck? a cool dude. He is. Yeah. That's dude, so apparently cool. there was a fucking story of a guy that was like stopped at a gas station and saw like a deer. In like a Walmart parking lot across the road and fucking sniped it from across the road. <laughs> <laughs> oh just, my god. <laughs> only in America, bro. Dude, that's wild. Yeah. <laughs> when, uh, that was very southern. You're just hunting <laughs> yeah, on a Walmart parking lot. That is a yeehaw as it fucking gets. That is like wildly illegal. Like, what have you I just can't like, remember, missed? Yeah, I can't remember where I heard that from or read that, but yeah, that, that happened somewhere. That was fucking hilarious. I don't know if that was close to where I live or not, but it probably was. <laughs> Probably sounds was. about right. Yeah, that is so uh, fucked. One of my uh, one of my buddies fell asleep at the wheel a long time ago because he I don't know he used to work midnights or whatever and just fucked with his sleep. So he got in an accident, drove into a pole while he was asleep, and like a month later he got a new car. And he was driving home from work again, but he didn't fall asleep this time. He hit a fucking deer like six a.m. And it was still alive, but all of its legs, except for, like, the back one, like, back, right, or left, whatever it was, um, was fine. So it was trying to, like, hobble away, so they had to call the police, and apparently the police officer tried to shoot it, but he missed, like, five times, and then some dude in a pickup <laughs> truck came, shot it with a shotgun, and took it home. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh my fucking God, that is yeah, amazing. How, did he, was... how do you miss... Dude, How do it you had miss a deer. It had one as a working trained leg. officer of the law. One, one How do you working miss a leg. deer that's hobbling on the ground. <laughs> and he was like, Bruh. apparently the deer was trying to like, like it was almost stuck in a fence, like trying to get over too. And it was just in this person's backyard, and everyone was screaming. And the police officer missed. And then the shotgun guy came, just blasted it in the head, picked it up, they call, put it in his truck, and left. And that was they it. They call that a stormtrooper to come and fix their yeah. problem. Like, Literally. <laughs> Do people eat yeah. deer? Yeah, oh yeah, yes. that's why he took oh, it yeah, home. Like what do you think, he, stuff, right? what yeah. do you think he took it home for? To fuck it? No, he's uh, eating it. It's dinner. Got me well, a maybe first. <laughs> I forget the people eat deer, yeah. Got to marinate it first. Is good. Deer is good. I've never had, uh, never had deer. The weirdest meat I've ever had is warthog. Or boar. I mean, not warthog. I was going to say, I feel like that would taste... Warthog? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like boar would not be very good. The weirdest meat I ever be... had is Jar Jar boar? Binks. Boar was the best like meat I ever had. It was really? so fucking good. I feel like that would just yeah. be tougher pig. Mm -mm. It was like, I had uh, Wagyu for the first time. Yes, oh, yeah, my man. Wagyu. I'm so proud of you. I now get ready for comments things. of people shitting on you for enjoying something. <laughs> well, is there like some Wagyu hate that I'm unaware of? Yeah. Well, last time when I anti -wagyu. Yeah, last time when I said <laughs> I, I really enjoyed nice steaks and, and, and getting a good steak, everyone was just like, "Oh, you gonna go spend more fucking money on dinner, Blark?" Every time I fucking do something, they're gonna be like, "Oh, you gonna spend money on dinner?" Yes. Well, fuck you did off. drop a thousand dollars, and you are a piece of shit for that. All right, dude. <laughs> yeah, my my Wagyu was only uh, sixty five bucks. I say <laughs> only. Very, uh, although that is extremely word? cheap, only that, comparatively that, that very, saying that, yeah, yes. that's very, very expensive. That is still, like, but that is stupid cheap for Wagyu, though, yeah. So, I mean, yes, you're, you're still very good. definitely, definitely would eat that every night, yes, if I could, yes, and then get colon cancer and die, but it's all worth it. It, dude, it's eating that every night, but getting colon cancer, that is a good trade for how good Wagyu actually is, yep. I'd, I'd I'd take that risk. Isn't the American it like, dream? Uh, isn't it like something you can't really eat a lot of at once because it's like really rich? It's really rich. Yeah, like I could, I, dude. I could eat a fucking pound of it. Really? Okay. Yeah, it's, I can't. Dude, so I, I can't good. eat more than like max eight ounces. Like I'm I'm done. Like I can I could not eat like a uh, a ribeye of wagyu. I'd probably puke. Is it oh, just like super I fatty could. or what? It's what extremely makes it... fatty. Yes. It's oh. so fucking good. But it's dude. not it, like. like Melts in your mouth. It's amazing. 
Yeah, it's not like weird, gross, like external chunky fat. It's all like intermuscular fat, and it's so good. Hmm. Oh. It's not like chewy or anything. It's just no, like, that's like, what I was picturing. I was like, this sounds awful. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just like pork chop fat. No, it's just butter. pork chop fat. It's like gum. Ew. 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 <laughs> it sucks, though, because it tastes good. Like pork chop, like you eat like so a little nasty. piece of fat, but it's just like, it's like, like eating an eraser. Back. Oh, it's so good. Fat back? What is yeah. fat back? <laughs> this is like a character. I honestly don't cartoon. know what fat back fat is. Back. No, I don't know what fat back uh, is. It's it, dude. I don't know what fucking meat it is. I just know it as fat back. That's it's so fucking. It's so fucking back good. Here? It's like it, dude. It's like little pieces of. It's almost like bacon, except way saltier, and it's super good. It is literally mm-hmm. fat back from a. That's pig. what bacon needed. More salt. Dude, it's fucking delicious. Yeah, it's literally back fat off a pig. I don't. You gotta try it. It's fucking awesome. I mean, I like pork belly and like pancetta and bacon and all that shit. So I've I mean, I've never I had like, pancetta. Yeah, have you ever had pig jowls? <laughs> nope. Oh uh, no, but I've heard of that. But they're, I've never heard of apparently pancetta. they're Wait, delicious. No. Pancetta is just belly. It's pretty much just it's it's pretty much just no, like I've Italian had that. bacon. I've had what, pancetta. jowls. Oh, pancetta. Yeah, probably. You can get like pancetta on pizza. Oh, like a lot of places label pancetta as bacon, like pizza places. Yeah, this and, looks very familiar. Yeah. yeah, you can get it at a lot of like Italian restaurants, and it's always super good. But pig jowls are apparently delicious. I've never had them, but apparently they taste pretty similar to bacon too. Any fatty part of the pig is probably all going to be good. You know, there's beef people bacon? eat hog brain. Oh, yeah, people that's eat it. the fucking brain, and they yeah. say it tastes like bacon. No, <laughs> actually, no you know shot. what? It probably would because all it is is fat. It's just fatty tissues, so. Brain, yeah. So well, I guess yeah. if you Martyr. smoke it, you can make just about anything taste kind of like bacon. I can't yeah. imagine the feeling of eating somebody else's thoughts. Like, that's bo- that bothers me. It's a pig. It didn't have <laughs> it's no a thoughts. Pig. I know, but pigs think. And they think about yeah. shit. Yeah. You're like, you're, you literally ate- shit. They literally <laughs> think about shit. You ate the part of the brain that made that pig horny. Like, I don't, yeah, that is. Yeah, like, um, what if I eat, it's like medulla oblongata or something, you know? <laughs> that's. That sounds like an Uber driver. <laughs> no, Madula Blanqueta. That's too big of a word for you, McNasty. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna you're gonna blue screen if you keep saying words like that. <laughs> Madula <I'm> Blanqueta. <laughs> you guys haven't seen the uh, uh, fucking Water Boy with Adam Sandler? Oh, I mm-hmm. did, but dude, I was probably in like grade fucking five. <laughs> I don't remember anything from that, other than he had a stupid voice because every Adam Sandler movie had a stupid voice for some reason. Right. Yeah, I'm saying like kind of does the same dumb voice in like every movie. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like I we do every video. Yeah. Like, we're we're Adam Sandler oh, YouTube. Mother, I got a shit fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we are the Adam Sandlers. <laughs> Indian Adam Sandler. I'm fine with YouTube. that. I'll take that title. That's, yeah. That's cool. I mean, he's pretty well off. I mean, yeah. He only does Netflix stuff now, but he well, usually he, do pretty good. He said if he didn't win uh, Oscar, right? Is that movies? Oscar? Mm-hmm. Yeah, if he didn't win an Oscar for Uncut Gems, he was going to do bad movies for the rest of his life. And then he did <laughs> Hubie Halloween, so I believe him. I actually enjoyed that movie. <laughs> Shut up. No, you didn't. Smitty tried to make me watch it in Toronto. I want to put a gun in my mouth. It was so fucking boring. Did you see uh, San- Sandy Wexler? Who? Sandy uh-huh. Wexler. It's like it's a movie with Adam Sandler. And he plays like a he's like a talent agent for like singers. No, I have nope. not. No, uh, it's like a Netflix movie. It's pretty good. You can watch it. Is it, is he actually like a serious role, or is he like? Uh, it's, yeah, no, it's, uh, I mean it's like serious, but he's kind of a little bit goofy. But it's not like a, it's not like a shababagoo. My name Adam Sandler, <laughs> like that kind of thing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a pretty good impression. Not <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> It's pretty yeah, on like point. The There's Jamor. no shababagoo. I not watch. <laughs> <laughs> I need the shababagoo. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that's pretty good though. <laughs> All right, soup. You want your to talk time. about yes. your your album and how that went? Your accident. <laughs> yes. yes. You talk about your accident. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you guys for listening. See you later. All right. I was gone for two weeks, which is why I know I've been no crying podcast. the entire time. I was no cried every night, and it was since all gone. my fault. Mm-hmm. You guys can blame it on me this mm-hmm. time. Your fault. Uh, yeah, your I went fault. and recorded. My band's second album. The band mm-hmm. is called Slackjaw. You can look yeah, it baby. up on Spotify and YouTube and shit. Yep. 
I was thinking the other day about how I was thinking the other day about how much I love the name of your band. Slackjaw. Such a good Same. like it's it's short. It's it's only two syllables. It's, it has a good meaning, and it just yeah. it just look sounds like a, a shirt. Like could like be if good Slackjaw merch. was like a pop punk band, it'd be terrible. But it just works with the music too. You know, yeah. like yeah. if you would have told me like. Oh yeah, in the eighties I went and saw Pantera, Metallica, Slayer, and Slackjaw. I wouldn't even exactly. like Bad and I. Like it works with that I, music. I, I I made it that name on purpose because I was like, dude, I don't like no offense to bands with like more than one fucking like word as a word, name, yeah. but yeah. like I, I just don't like the multiple word band names. Like, yeah. I set my Short friends sweet. on fire. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> I like so you leave them alone. <laughs> I mean, there's Blood nothing wrong with that, floor. but that, that's just, I like one, like one word band yeah. names. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's fair. But yeah, it went good. There was some pretty funny shit that happened uh, one morning. I mean, we had to be up at nine every morning, which isn't that big of a deal, but like it does get old whenever you're yeah. doing it every fucking day, like all day. Like we were pretty much doing like nine to five just about every day. And then one morning, uh, <laughs> it's just me and my friend Brady. He's the, uh, he did the lead guitar and the drums and some of the rhythm on the album <clears throat> and uh yeah it's just us so it's like a two man project and one morning i was like let's go get starbucks before we go into the studio this morning and he was like all right and i was like just look up like the closest starbucks and there was one fucking like 2 minutes down the road and i guess he just didn't like notice what he had put in <laughs> we pull up and it's the fucking like cancer hospital Starbucks. <laughs> it's literally, <laughs> it's literally Starbucks in the like, hospital. Yes. Oh, so no. so I have we recorded like a little thing while we were there. Like I did pretty much a vlog that I'm gonna upload soon. And there's a little bit in the vlog. I didn't record in the cancer hospital, but like <laughs> I'm oh, <glad>. dude. <laughs> dude. So we pull up and I'm like, bruh, of course you take me to the cancer <laughs> hospital. Like, <laughs> why? Like, oh why God. is this the closest Starbucks? So we we pull up, and dude, I go into this parking garage, and it's for cancer patient parking only. So, <laughs> oh, no. This, this is oh, all recorded, no. by the way. Oh, so, <laughs> that so, is not a pa- parking pass I would want to have. I'm Just like, dude, I'm pass. like, God, God is looking down on me in complete disappointment he right now. He probably gave like, you cancer for what you're about to <laughs> do. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, the, the next time I'm going to be parking here is when I'm checking in, like, literally. <laughs> so, like, so I park there and I'm like, okay, maybe the Starbucks is just like, you walk in the main lobby and it's like right here. And everyone's and, bald. <laughs> dude. It, we're, dude, I'm wearing, I'm literally wearing a long sleeve, like flame Pantera shirt, like s- camo swim trunk. With the most long, hair possible. Yes, yeah, <laughs> long fucking hair. Mickey on Mouse, so fucking, him. <laughs> fucking Mickey Mouse tube socks and like black vans. And like me and my friend are just like had the longest fucking hair in the world. And we're oh, walking. I thought you guys were this, homeless. Dude. We walk in and I'm like, oh my fucking God. Like nobody stops us or anything. And then this nurse is just like, can I help you guys find anything? Like, and she's <laughs> like are you guys visit? Are you guys visitors? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And I wasn't thinking like a visitor of a oh, patient. No. I was just no. like, I am a visitor to the hospital. So yeah. Yeah. I felt terrible. And I was just like, we're just looking for Starbucks. And so she like takes us up this elevator and we take like this fucking like Five minutes. Why isn't walk. it like the base of the hospital? That's so That's weird. what I'm saying. That's what I was thinking. Because dude. it's probably yeah. just for people with cancer. <laughs> dude. So we we take this long walk to the Starbucks, dude. And <laughs> all the people in this cafeteria area are just nurses and doctors. Like people standing around us are just like, oh Johnson, how'd the procedure go today? Like that kind of shit's happening all around us. Jesus. And I just feel so out of place. <laughs> <laughs> and I get up to the counter finally, and she's just like, "Badge your credit card." And I'm like, "What do you fucking think, woman?" Like, badge? <laughs> I say that. Yeah. I like badge. Do I look like I'm carrying a fucking badge? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Yeah. So I get Starbucks, and I'm like, "Fuck it, I'm here. I'm I'm gonna get Chick Fil A." So, <laughs> so I walk over to the Chick Fil A cancer meal. <laughs> yeah, and. <laughs> The nurse had asked before we she left us. She was like, "Do you guys think you can find your way back?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure." Just to like get her to fuck off. What'd you give him Chick Fil A though? Oh, uh, just a chicken biscuit. Oh, yep. 
Uh, (laughs) So I'm like, all right, time to leave. And we get lost in this fucking hospital for like, dude, for like 30 minutes inside of this hospital. Oh my God, dude. Dude, I almost opened an emergency exit door because I was just following exit signs. And I literally like pushed the door in and my my friend's like, Brady's like, that's the fucking emergency exit. Stop. Dude, (laughs) imagine if you would have made... The sprinklers go off and all the fucking cancer patients <laughs> had to get out of their know, bed. And you, know. you almost just were the worst human I, being on planet. You were almost planet. Peter Griffin at that point. They're gonna, yeah, they're I gonna know. just causing chaos for no reason. Evacuate the entire hospital. All I the bomb know. patients are going to be on the parking lot. Dude, you I pressed Starbucks. the fucking door in too. Like, if I would have moved that door any further, it would have went off. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. And so, dude, we just keep walking around and I'm like asking nurses and shit like, how do you get to cancer patient parking? And they're all like, I only work in this section. I have no idea about the rest of the hospital. So we're just (laughs) continuously walking around this hospital lost, walking by literal people like getting chemo, just literally like people getting treated and shit. And we're just walking by. (laughs) <laughs> Dude, I felt so bad. I felt so fucking bad. This is the worst story. Yeah. And I, we finally find an exit that we can walk out of. And like, there's a security guard standing like down the road. And I'm like, hey, can you tell us like how to get the cancer patient parking? And he's just like, where did you guys come out of? And I'm like, pointed. And I'm like, oh, just out of there. And he was like, who let you guys in? <laughs> I was like, we just walked in. Like, you must not be doing your job very well, <laughs> Mr. Security Guard. Bro. And you get this guy fired. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, why were you guys in there? And I held up the Chick-fil-A and Starbucks, and I was like, me hungry. Just, <laughs> um, just getting food. And then he like walked over to his other security guard friend, and they uh, or he, he walked us back to the parking garage. Was, and we was left. he angry? No, but he like they just kind of looked at us like in disbelief. <laughs> yeah, oh, God, they just went to a cancer hospital idiots. to get some fucking Chick Fil A, the Lord's yep. Chicken, inside of a cancer <laughs> wing of a hospital. Yeah, and that was pretty much an hour of us walking around <laughs> lost in a cancer hospital, and it was, dude. Oh my God, I felt so terrible. That was a horrible story. <laughs> I was really thinking like, oh, the Starbucks is right here when you walk in, so we can just get it and walk out. It's like at the yeah. It's anytime like I've the, ever the been to a hospital, the hospital, they yeah. always keep the food. Like the cafeterias are always on the bottom floor. Yeah, right. Just yeah, it was not it. like that at all. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I got that vibe. So yeah, that sucked. Yeah. <laughs> Other than yeah. that, recording the album was very good. Was the food good? In the Starbucks, it was. The Starbucks was great. The Chick Fil A was wonderful. That was such. It was just awful. A little why cold. Did, we walked did, around, yeah, holding it for so long. But I, other than that, probably would have just ate it while I walked around. <laughs> just it's up. <laughs> Might as well. That yeah. is. Uh, that sounds good. Anything yeah, else exciting happened there, or just this that? Uh, I tried wa- wagyu there. That's oh, yeah, the yeah. only other exciting thing. Uh, we recorded uh, nine songs in two weeks' time, which was great. We did. Me and Brady did all the guitar, bass, drums, and vocals. So it's like a two-man project. Fuck, that is a lot pretty, of work for two people. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> he did all the drums, and who did the all synth? the lead? Well, not all the leads. I did. A, I have a few lead guitar parts on this album. Who did the keyboard? Pretty much. It was pretty much all of us on everything for the most part. So. That's pretty sick. That'd be really yep. fun. Who did the bongos? Donkey Kong. <laughs> That's a good answer. That's Featuring not a guy. Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Did you play Donkey Konga soup when you were younger? Yeah. Nice. Me too. <laughs> what a Good terrible conversation, conversation that was. <laughs> Good conversation, <laughs> nice. boys. Me too. Well done. Nothing else? <laughs> All right. Fantastic. Hey, yo, you have a Sega Genesis when you were a kid? Yeah. Me too. Nice. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, do we have any other topics? I mean,. <laughs> What about you, dude? What you been up to the last two weeks? <laughs> I don't know if I want to talk about that on the podcast, because I don't want to discourage okay. people from getting their vaccine. Yeah, 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 I had yeah, a bad yeah. reaction to the vaccine, but it won't happen to you, okay? Go get your vaccine. All right. That's a good fine. answer, dude. 
Well, now, when you, the way you said, I'm fine, makes it sound like you're going to pass I'm away at any I'm moment. Fine. I'm fine. Just remember me. That's all I'm fine. I ask. <laughs> I will remember you. Anyone else got anything exciting going on? Uh, Chicken beans. Yeah. I don't know. Blarg, what have you been up to? I've, I've been golfing, <laughs> which is... <laughs> Which is new and exciting for me. Uh, I've always just played like occasionally, you know, off season of hockey because like that's what you're supposed to do for some weird reason. But I I don't know. I just started like actually going twice or three times a week, and it's actually pretty fun if you don't take it oh seriously God. and act like you're going to the PGA Tour because a lot of people do, and it's really fucking cringe. It's uh, relaxing, it's just, isn't it? Like golfing. Yeah, dude, it's so much fun. I just go out with like until you start fucking up and then you get pissed. No, but that's the thing is like that's the thing is you have to, you, that's he said don't act like you're yeah, in PGA you, tour. You just you just go to enjoy it. Like for some reason, I don't know if it's because of hockey or whatever, but for some odd reason, I'm oddly good for how much I've played. So it's just like I don't know. It's just I'm happy with where I'm at. I don't really care to get better. I don't care if I get any worse. I just enjoy it. And I, just, I haven't golfed since I was a little kid. I just go I with a friend and drink. And that's it. I remember when I was a little kid, I would I would go golfing with my dad every once in a while, and. uh there was one time where he was driving the carts, and I guess he took too sharp of a turn, and I just flew off the cart. Dude, I have done <laughs> I've that to me before too. I've really? done that yes. so many times to new kids at work. <laughs> like really? the, the golf course I worked at. So like, we had the bay was at the bottom where all the carts were, like the garage, and then you'd have mm-hmm. to go up like this big turn. It would, it would go up a big hill, and then you'd be at like the. Uh, Loading area where people throw their bags on and stuff, and the pro shop is up there, and then you'd go down the hill tier to where the uh, actual holes are. But there's this fucking turn to go back down to the garage. So if I was driving to the new kid, I just hit the fucking turn as quick as I could, and they would just go flying out of the <laughs> car. So mean, like mock speed. It's like uh, concrete too, <laughs> but it was just so funny nice. every fucking time. What a <laughs> douchebag! That's terrible, dude. No, well, that's I, good when mean. I when I started, they did they did it to me. So it's just. You gotta oh. pass it down, you know. See, at least my friend did it to me in the sand, so it didn't hurt at yeah, all. Yeah, I think it was Dude, on the grass I was pissed for me. though, because I trusted him. I knew he was doing some sus shit, and I trusted him. He was like, "Hey, let go of uh, like the fucking handle." He's like, "Let go of everything, dude. You just gotta trust me." I was like, "No, fuck you." He's like, "Dude, trust me. Just let go of it." And I'm just like, "Dude, I know you're gonna do something fucking stupid, but I'll let go." And then he just flings me off, and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that's Goon's that golfing trip in the future. I'm Goon's down. golfing new channel. <laughs> <laughs> Four Goon's people golfing. that live in the most opposite places from each other possible uh, are gonna make a consistent golfing channel together. <laughs> no, we, we just, just all play f- PGA Tour 05. <laughs> we can do that for Goons Gaming. How about that? We'll meet in the middle. There you go. PGA Tour. I've never gone like 05. official golfing before. That sounds fun. Well, it sounds very relaxing. I've like, been to a pro golfer's golf. house when he wasn't there. Okay. Did you? Did steal? he know you what were he... there? Yeah. No. Were okay. you supposed to be there? Uh, yeah, kind of. What? <laughs> I'm not gonna say his name, you... but he had stuff of Tiger Woods in his fucking house. <laughs> Is so, it now in your so... house? So was it? T- hold on, was it Tiger Woods? If it he was had not st- Tiger Woods. If he had t- <laughs> was it Tiger Woods' <laughs> wife? <laughs> no, she's not a golfer. But dude, my friend was living at this like professional golfer's house, and dude, I did. Okay, it was so weird. He invited me over and was like, "Yeah, just come over and hang out." And I'm like, "All right." I pull up. He's like, "Let me know when you get here." I pull up, dude, and it's just massive fucking gated neighborhood. And Jeez, I get in, dude, I, I didn't know if I was at the right house, and I walk up onto the porch, and there's a package. I pick the package up and look at it, and it's literally from the PGA. It was, like, from PGA Golf, and I was like, okay. I'm at the right I'm house. obviously <laughs> at the right house, yeah. You should have just put it in your truck and walked in like you never saw it. Just stole it. <laughs> <laughs> just committed theft and then went in this man's house. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, he had, like, pictures with Tiger Woods, like, signed, and, like, one of Tiger Woods' is, like, um, fucking gloves that he had, like, enclosed in, in a table. It was sick. Jesus. 
Is like you don't have to say the name, but is this like a famous golfer? Or is it just like somebody who's been you know like decently successful at golf? Like is this like a mainstream golfer? Uh, I I think so. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I don't really know the whole golfing world, but I mean, well, he's, I mean, where he's you are, there is a big shit. Where you are, there is a ton of golfers because the tour is isn't it hosted at a golf course pretty somewhat close to you. Isn't there one in yeah. South Carolina? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Well, don't it's know. in Georgia, but it's not far from me. Oh, okay, the Masters. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. yeah, I don't know anything about professional golf. I I hate watching it with a fucking passion. I just enjoy playing it. I think I'd yeah, li- I, I I don't give a shit about yeah, it. I'd, yeah, I think I'd rather eat school glue than watch golf. But it's fun to do. The the only thing I still can't fucking stand is the, the some of the people that play it, dude. They're just the fucking worst. The old people are just such dicks. And like, I didn't know about this because I really didn't golf that much. Like, walking across the green, like people that golf know that like this is a thing, but I just didn't know about it. If you walk across the green. If somebody's ball is like, if you walk between their ball and like the hole, that's BM as fuck. You're supposed to walk all the way around their ball. So you don't walk over their line. Really? I didn't even know that. It's like, (laughs) I I stepped over it. You fucked the ground up, dude. You messed with their shot, bro. Bro, but that's what I mean is these motherfuckers think they're going to the PGA. Bro, no shot. You've had 19 beers. Me walking over your ball line isn't making a difference. (laughs) There's 14 cores lights that are open. Like you've just you've been bumming these things. Don't tell me about your fucking golf line. Dude, I played golf for a year in high school and it fucking dude, it was fun, but it sucked. Like yeah, we, like we weren't allowed suck. to use golf carts. So oh, you, you had, had to, to walk, walk yeah. the whole mm-hmm. fucking course yeah. in pants. It's like, dude, yeah. this fucking sucks. You couldn't wear shorts? No. What? I don't think I've ever been to a golf. We could. I don't. I don't think I've ever been to a golf course where you can't wear shorts. As long as they're not like some fucking cut off jorts. Could. Maybe we could. <laughs> Maybe you're just an idiot. Like, <laughs> no, I, dude. I swear I would have wore shorts if I could have. Yeah. I mean, I would think. I don't you think would. that we. I don't think we could wear pants. I don't know. It's weird that there's a dress code. You can't just be an adult and wear whatever the hell you want. Well, they they kind of well, we weren't. Like, Adults. It was high school. Well, even oh. regular golf courses, you can't wear whatever you want. Like, if you try to wear jeans to a golf course, they will absolutely tell you to leave. Like, most uh. of them. Unless it's just, like, a $45 golf course, like, something super cheap. But <laughs> most of them will tell you to fuck off. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's that's literally all I've had going on. I've done nothing. I have worked four hours in the last, like, two weeks. <laughs> like, since Soup left, I have done zero work. I've yeah, I've been sent- busting my ass every day. <laughs> yeah, I've been I doing more work since to my Super editor and golf. That's it. In mm. my life. I'm like a retired <laughs> I've in my man. bed and died. But please yeah. go get your vaccine, kids. Okay. <laughs> yeah, kids. Tiny little children. Go get Small them. Small little infants. <laughs> These little newts. <laughs> Do we have a topic for like 10 minutes? No. We don't. We're Dude, back. Do we, do we want to sit back in full force? We want to sit in silence for like you know, like nap time um, at the end of um, nap time with the um, goons. Hamburger, um, cheeseburger, um, Big Mac, Whopper. I actually did that as vocal warm ups before I would go and, and really? yell. Well, that's um, not about it because you're supposed to do like a yeah. siren song. Like, kind of like it's kind of like your false chords a little bit when you do that. Um, <laughs> vocal warm up um, with the goons. Um, no, but I actually would have to do uh, like the mum 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 mum. Did you look shit. up like the the YouTube video that everyone uses? Yes, I had to do yeah. the mommy made me mash my M and M's. I <laughs> fucking hated it. What about the one that goes? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I couldn't do it, and I felt so stupid. I was like, just <laughs> 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 motorboating the fuck out of nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, especially for harsh vocals, did you have to do any of the, like, the, I think they're called siren song warm-ups, where you literally just, like, like, you literally just try to make the most fucked noise with your diaphragm possible. No. Well, I'm surprised they didn't, no, I did not. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't make you do that one. Well, I didn't even do any warm-ups the first time. Do you fucking Uh-oh. maniac. So, I oh, just no. went straight into it. Dude, I, I tell, like, people ask, like... What is the vocal technique? And I'm like, dude, Xbox Live headset <laughs> vocal technique. I don't fucking know. I've been yelling my whole life. Yeah, you're just people. Throat is calloused. That's all. Yeah, it is. I've been yelling at people my whole life online, so it just like <laughs> comes naturally. 
You're gonna have such an old man voice when you get old. Yeah. You're gonna be just raspy as fuck. Um, hamburger. <laughs> That's all you said. <laughs> um, no, I actually do. I have a little bit of technique now. Like I've That's I've been good. practicing, and yeah. So it's but, not just full on yelling for no reason. Like the, I, I, I know a little bit. The best thing, like technique, helped me with isn't actually so much like sounding any better. It was just like mostly airflow. Like I had such better voice management and like yeah. pronunciation of words when I learned how to like properly do technique, especially with harsh vocals, like any sort of scream. Like, yeah, you really so have to easier. like use your breathing. Definitely. Yes. Yeah, like that's what technique helped with more than like actually sounding any different. So you're fine. I mean, that's but that's stuff we weren't able to do live. Too. Yeah, it's the same idea, really. Yeah. But I don't know. Did you, uh, you said you just used his throat coat or did you use anything else? Actually, I, I ended up not using anything. Really? I, I, yeah, I really didn't feel terrible. I mean, like, my voice is still recovering a little bit, but I mean, that's just because of how much I did it and, yeah, like just doing it repetitively <laughs> in two days. Yeah. But like, mm-hmm. doing like a show for like an hour or 30 minutes, like, that would be totally fine. Yeah, I can handle that. Have you done any shows? No, we haven't had any shows yet. We were planning on getting ready to do some, and then COVID happened. Yeah, you can't, you couldn't Mm. really do it. But yeah, and we're only two men right now, so we we don't really have any plans to do any backing track. But we want to. Yes, sir. (laughs) I don't want to play to a click. Yeah, Yeah, that's that's not that's not very fun. Just have like. Two of you on stage and then backing track for the rest would be kind of fucking lame to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I've seen bands do that and it just doesn't really. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem. Yeah, it's not. That's only cool if fun. you're a very established band and then one of the band members dies and you just play like a backing thing. Yeah, yeah. like if you're playing like a stadium, yeah, maybe, but. <laughs> but if you're yeah. playing, playing like, like a, a little bar, club show, yeah. no. A club yeah, that'd be no. like a fucking full curse. band. Because most guy. of the time, just these little clubs have like shitty fucking PAs. And so yep. the oh, shit yeah. sounds distorted and fucked. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> yeah. Do you guys like? Are you guys trying to find other people, or are you just like whenever yeah, you find the are. right? I was gonna say like, yeah, you're we're actively looking. looking. Yeah. Well, commenters want to be in Slack chat. I don't know. Do something. <laughs> what we're what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna do the bass and the vocals live instead of rhythm guitar. And Ooh, just, Getty Lee style. I like it. Y- yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, my friend Brady's just gonna do all the guitar. <laughs> He's gonna play guitar, bass, drums, and sing. <laughs> and got eight fucking yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try and find a drummer. We've got a few people that you know are interested. Gonna be like one of those street performers with like the drum on his back. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> That's pretty much how we are in the Harmonica. studio. In the studio, it's like we're all running around doing fucking everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that. It is like I feel like a studio like environment doing one thing. It's stressful enough. Like, I don't know if I'd want to do more than one thing. And I've yeah, only done like songs stressful. in the studio. I've never had to do like full on albums like you did. I would hate yeah, that. Yeah, it it is pretty stressful because our guy that uh uh records us and everything isn't. He's like, I'm not gonna fucking edit. So like, get it right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, yeah, no pressure then. Bro. All right. Yeah. He's like, Have you practiced? I'm like, Yeah. All right, then fucking do it. Hits record. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. What yeah, this, as uh, a bedroom musician, that's that's that would be very foreign to me. Like <clears throat> I sit here and do takes until it's done, you know, until yeah, I like it. Literally, like there's nothing stopping well, I mean, you from doing it. He'll let you redo takes. it. He'll let you redo it. But you're as, still on the I clock. Mean, you're you're pay you're paying for it. Like yeah. yeah, so he'll let you do it, but it's pretty much <laughs> coming like, out of get your it, pocket. Get it right. Yeah, because right. like we want everyone wants to get out of there as soon as you can, but we want it good. So it's yeah. just like just know your shit when you go to the studio. Yeah, to be fair, he probably has so many fucking people that come in and need, like, 30 takes just to do, like, basic shit because they didn't rehearse their stuff enough. So he's probably just trying to avoid that because that'd be so frustrating, man. Like, having to hear somebody fuck up the same, like, guitar part over and over and over. Well, you have to realize, too, that he's fucking recording you and, like, he's listening to your demos that you've sent him. Mm -hmm. He's also going to have to edit it and mix it and master it. So he's listening to the same shit. Like a million times. Yeah. So I can see why it would get annoying. Yeah. Yeah. I can't really blame him for that. I just, I don't know. I feel like that would make me fuck up a part that I'm super confident with. 
Like every time well, I've yeah, recorded, I mean, it be that I, way. it's been at a friend's I, I studio. It, I call it red light syndrome. I don't know if that's what everybody calls it, but like you can play it perfectly when you're just practicing. But as soon as you know you're recording, it's yeah. just you just forget everything. You know? Yeah. I feel like that would happen in a studio. That is very real. I feel like I it get makes that. me feel good though, because like <laughs> it, it sounds good, and like if we can sound that good getting it in one take, then hey, hopefully we sound close to that live. Yeah. Yeah. So. Do you, uh, it's not, I don't know what the fuck I'd call it, but like basically at like guitar center or something, if you pick up a guitar, like I feel like the first like minute of me sitting there, I feel like I've never played guitar and just don't, can't remember a single thing. Like <laughs> I, that, that same thing as like red light syndrome that you call mm-hmm. it. The thing it's it sucks so too is like you, when you're at guitar center and you pick up a, ran- a random guitar and you plug it into a random amp, it's like nothing, it sounds nothing like what you do at home. Yeah. You know, like home, I have all my like reverb and delay set up like exactly how I want it. And well, then you, you do go, that at the studio too. You will, you'll spend a lot of time like dialing in up. Yeah. how you want uh, your tone and everything. Like drums, especially, take fucking a good I amount of time. Yeah. yeah. If you have like the perfect like mic placement, it just sounds off. Yep. You do drum sound and all that kind of shit. What's well, so guitar many wasn't too bad. Them. Like with, yeah, with, with guitar, we kind of went section by section with some stuff. Mm-hmm. But like the bass and drums is like that's pretty much all yeah one take yeah so. yeah that's that's tough to do like a whole song in a take fuck that uh, I don't think I could do that with anything I feel like I would just get Which way he'll, too he'll stressed. take like multiple takes of everything so that way whenever he goes to edit he'll get the best oh he can punch in parts the of, better parts yeah. right the best parts of every take but yeah. there's nothing wrong yeah. with that. Yeah, no. That's, I mean, everybody you're does just, that. I mean, yeah, most you're just trying big to make a, musicians don't even record their own shit. So. Oh, yeah, no. No, everything's punched in now. Yeah. A yeah, lot I mean, of people hire, like, studio musicians to come in and do their shit. Like, dude, <laughs> you would be surprised at the amount of bands that will hire people to come in and play their shit for them. It's actually insane. <laughs> I always wonder how the person that, that mastered... I mix and mastered uh, Injustice for All. I wonder how they made it sound so good. Because to me, personally, that's like like top of the line like mixing. Injustice for All? Yeah. I like that album to me no, just sounds... No, it's not. No. Well, to me, personally, like, it sounds like the best like, to me. N- no, dude. I don't, there's I don't no know what album on that, that is. Album. Yeah, no, but I'm saying like everything is just so... Everything's so like <clears throat> upfront and like clear and you know, there's no, there's no clashing at all. Well, if you want to hear like the I'm talking best, about that entire album, not just that song. Yeah, yeah, I know that. No, definitely not. <laughs> I'm, Your like, I'm not trying to be a wrong. dick. No, I'm not trying to be a dick. But that's <laughs> yeah. that's just the truth. Are you talking? Are you sure you're not talking about the Black album? No, I'm talking about Injustice for All. Because the, the Black, Black album, album, Black album was done really like, well too. The Black album like, is like but the pinnacle is, of of like metal music. That's like the perfect mix of everything. Yeah, no, that was. That's why it still sells so many copies. But like Justice for All, that there's no bass on that album at all. Well, really. yeah, but that's not that doesn't have anything to do with the mixing and the mastering. Well, that it just, does. Yeah, it's it does. Lost there's in no the mix. bass in the mix. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot completely oh. lost in the mix. Imagine you come there and record all your bass, and then you just you don't even down it. in the yeah. mix, and you just don't exist. Oh, if I, well, this whole time I thought they just didn't record bass on that album. So the so no, what you're they, saying they is did. it's actually it's a like, horribly <laughs> mastered. Album. Yeah, I mean, everything else yeah, sounds it's, great. I, it's just weird that they, I don't I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, there's like no low end to that album at all. Mm. Yeah, but well, the guitar sound great. Guitar yeah, like the, the really guitar cool. and like the the drum sounds yeah really good. But the black album is like the pinnacle of yeah. fucking. I love like the, when when Sad but True starts playing like that's that's, yeah, that's the really, sound the yeah. sound of that album is phenomenal, mm-hmm. especially for its time. Like you, metal bands nowadays still strive to get their fucking albums to sound like that. Yeah. And that was in the nineties. Most metal bands don't even actually use like real drums anymore. They just use process drums. Just yeah. it sounds so much better and it's like just easier. Well, that's something that we experimented with on this album. We yeah. used real cymbals because cymbals, cymbals yeah. are something you can't really, like, you'll know if they're fake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty it's just, much. Psh, like, psh, just the same yeah. sound yeah. over and over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, we used uh, an electric bass drum, which is cool because you can trigger that to sound like pretty much anything yeah. that you want. Mm-hmm. So you can get a really, really good, like, 
like bass drum sound Chunky from that. Ass tone. And and the good thing about that is like and we used a real snare. Yeah, so real, real cymbals, real, real snare, but yes. fake electric toms and electric bass drum. But the good thing about that is with the toms, there's no cymbal bleed into the mics of the toms. Mm-hmm. So you can really make the toms like sound like fucking cannons. Yeah, mm. big punchy so, ass sounds. Yeah. And you wouldn't even know that they were fake, to be honest. You should do with a, a vet- snare and cymbals, you would know, but yeah, toms you can and tell. bass drum, you won't fucking know. You should do a version of your newest album, just how you're going to do it, and then do another version, but have the St. Anger snare. <laughs> well, this is a real like, snare. Dong, so. dong, like every, every single time the snare hits. Just put in like a trash can sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you know that Slipknot has a guy like that? Their band. They just have a guy that yeah. hits like a fucking, with a bat. They hit a keg. <laughs> oh, it's a they keg. Hit, yeah, it's a keg. That's right, they yeah. hit beer kegs with bats. <laughs> That's so funny. Imagine that being your full time job is to hit beer cans with bats. Yeah, that's Not what a clown and Slipknot four, four. does. But I think he was like the guy that kind of like invented like the image of Slipknot. So he was like he's kind of like the artist of Slipknot, like the oh uh, really you uh, know hmm. like the makeup I guess kind of guy that like invented the whole like number system and how they look i'm pretty sure i could be wrong but yeah i don't yeah, know anything about like them. his job is percussion which is just like Bunk. pretty much nothing Bunk. <laughs> Bunk. Yeah. Well, at least it's fucking easy yeah he's a genius i mean he made one of the biggest metal bands ever or was a founder so <clears throat> yeah um all right we have any more topics or are we we all done i could good. talk about this shit all day <laughs> I was gonna say that was a good conversation to uh, to end it on if you want to do. Yeah, and there it goes somewhere else. Yeah, we we didn't we didn't end on shit or cum or piss or death. Well, we did now. Well, we ended on all those things now. I guess we started with a fart. We did. We did. We did do that. Start with a fart. <laughs> end with <laughs> okay. end with wholesome conversation. You all always right. gotta start some shit. Get it? Soup to the outro. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like and comment and subscribe and download on Spotify. We appreciate your support. Sorry for being gone for so long. Download on Spotify. Yeah. Goodbye. (laughs) Do it or else. This is the most unenergetic ending. (laughs) Somebody scream or something. (laughs) Ah!